You're live on KXP at home. It's my pleasure to introduce one of my favorite duos in hip hop, Blue and Exile. Yeah. Performing what's up? What's up? <laughs> performing, performing live from, well, well, tell us where you're performing from. Uh, Long Beach, Long Beach, California at the, the Record Box Shop. In the L Let's get into it. Live on KXP at home. Ready, X? Yeah. Blue and Exile. KEXP. Y'all know what it is. Wait, are you supposed to say take one? Take one. Shit, can we do that again? Who, 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 who rock colder? Colder from, from California. Uh, check it, the Los Angeles city skyline Is like a photograph of my mind I can feel the seas breeze every time that I rhyme Cool guy, coulda played trumpet in a suit and tie Barbers coulda cut a smoother line So it's you and I, first song First song I ever recorded, felt important I had to paint my portrait, enormous clouds forming The sun falls in darkness, rises, yo, it's like this Every time I close my eyelids Bro, I grew up in a city of violence Was known for the riots Now that I'm grown, I stay blown all alone Thinking about those who didn't make it in my zone Dreaming about how far we could take it from the basement I never been one to run from guns Sung every night where I come from, the blunt runs Never fail, you could tell hell I never sell out even if I'm on sale Retail, pre-sales, you can see God in the details Midnight blue, Kenny Pharrell shocked the world The lie got caught in the third rail Burn L's, thinking about my daughter's future walking out of jail Even as a kid I wanted to be big like Jigga Can I Ten siblings need a crib like the ones on cribs Niggas facing long bids trying to make it where I live Real talk, common sense, I'm blue yeah. I fell onto the planet, knowledge born, building, understanding, dropping poems on the endless canvas. I central Los Angeles, Angeles. with niggas hold pistols and talk scandalous. I picked up a pencil and wrote anthems. anthems. My city most champions, champions. talent show battling, managing life challenging, and I will write traveling, unraveling thoughts. Talk. Pass the mic for I pass you the blunt, smash the stage, then I pass the cost. Acting a fool, rapping was cool, so all the sun we could actually, actually do. do. Master my views, get my cash stacking after my dues. Classic tunes, platinum plaques, back to back with my crew. Black and blue, back to rock and black and black at the show. Pack out the show, block the block. We gotta block out the news, block out that show's no block. Black pride and I'm blue. I used to sing James Brown, used to tour through towns, tearing down egos, rocking gold, wearing a crown, tearing out style. Or Ed to the king, her grew up wild long time ago. Ten years exactly where are they now? I've been BL back when they was clapping at fools. After school, for acting cool, I just had a backpack full of raps. Avenue Blue is finna battle you spit. 45 caliber raps that'll dismantle you. My album's done, I'm back. Told homie don't bang, just hang with me Crip mania, the whole gang was me It's so gangsta to be blue Thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The true one lived in. Huh? The true one lived in, huh? True one lived in. What? Yo, it's the truth, y'all. Yo, it's the truth. It's the truth, y'all. Yo, it's the truth. The true one lived in, huh? True one lived in. What? True and living, huh? True and living, what? Yo, it's the truth, y'all. Yo, it's the truth. It's the truth, y'all. It's the truth. 
train you call spectacular Ride of this freaking world The most common denominator between boy and girl The highest set of standards that's ever been established Redistributed to the masses for your satisfaction We only come in peace to preach about the next coming The first black president, what if the next is woman? This is for those becoming who you intend to be Pull off your suits and struggle and wash your sins and see This is finna be even deeper than a sunken ship 2,000 plus leagues underground above the rich And you can see them like their hands stretching out to God And we can save them like any patient about to die This is that big hurt that put a hurting on the truth They never thought a wish could lead the world into pursuit Life, liberty, happiness to be detached from evil This is a message to and from the people The true and living, the true and living, huh? True and living, huh? True and living, what? Yo, it's the truth, y'all, yo, it's the truth it's the truth, y'all. Yo, it's the truth. The true and living, huh? True and living, what? True and living, huh? True and living, what? Yo, it's the truth, y'all. Yo, it's the truth. It's the truth, y'all. Turntables in a classic record A match made in heaven Glory be to God Straight out the west There's never been a more truthful duo In these courageous ages The new creator's favorites Yo, it's Blue and X Go get a stack of rappers And play us back to back Check the conclusion after Who got the masses locked? Open your hearts and let us walk Through out your mental fortress Close down your charts Soon as you spark You've been sent to forfeit Bring back original rap To what it's meant to be And let that digital relax Wax is slippery with wax Acapella, let me spit on your decks Yo, play that intro instrumental Watch the realest connect To say it's simple, yo, we simply the best Professing spiritual, confess the miracle As individuals and get respect The next logical step will be to bless the streets In attempts to reflect what we have yet to see Ladies and gentlemen, uh, from this dimension comes a true And living 90 billion miles from the root of existence Touch the sun and let me shine like one Bust your gun and watch the blind run We change the shooter's vision Influential Intuition in the missions on the mission at the finish Telling them that we just beginning From out the park dropping jewels in the dark Comes a beat beating harder than the beat of your heart The true and living, huh? True and living, what? True and living, huh? True and living, what? Yo, it's the truth, y'all Yo, it's the truth It's the truth, y'all It's the truth The true and living, huh? True and living, what? True and living, huh? True and living, what? Yo, it's the truth, y'all Yo, it's the truth. It's the truth, y'all. Check it. Back for the third time, reflecting like the earth shines. A testament to worst times, words to the wise. Visualize your favorite way to make it. Call it your place in heaven. Elope the truth and spit a jewel at 80 verse per second. You can never measure records with the few who did it. While all the people try and lie and take the future with it. Computer wizards multiplying in division, subtraction, and addition all to get the true and living. A South Central state of mind Devout Christians and niggas doing time Where everyone be trying to shine under that Hollywood sign I've been in line ever since I was six Saw magic in LL when I just wanted to be rich Cause we wasn't, we were struggling I never got anything I wanted as a kid I would see other kids and get pissed Like they got mad gifts for Christmas Yo, how does Santa miss us? It's time to grow up and get bucks See these rappers driving big trucks Pulling up to big cribs I told my mama that that's how I want to live So I picked up a pen, started Rapping about riches, having dreams about prostituting my image to get bitches, then I changed it up. That was lame as fuck, and this rapper ate me up. Never that, you only have the major bucks, you ain't the same as us. Blue been kicking rats back on kisses, kicking snaps, eating grandma's chicken backs in the back, bought the bus rolling up, thinking other dope and shit. I just need to get some beats to get my niggas in the streets, and yeah, we did. But when I bumped in the exile, I realized that it's about getting respect and not the checks. Now I checked out a bunch of shit I slept on and kept making songs, hoping one day. I would catch on Then I wrote my best songs Expressing the truth About my adolescence That's when blessings Start falling below the heavens
truck now. And call the cab, we on the map Back in New York City, like a Dodger cap Blue, smooth like blue suede shoes I told my homie, improve I'm Tim Allen with the tools I built my booth, made of juice Left the hole in the speaker Stepped in the stool, no shoes But got more soul than sneakers Below the clouds, holding a crown Coke and a smile, but on the humble Word to mumbles, all balls don't bounce So yeah, the thousand styles flip out When the DJ spin out, hits out Spit back a hundred rounds Pulled the clip out, the most dope Niggas get roached, trying to approach the host We lay it down, yo, butter and toast an introduction to the promos fit To hold his tip and spit A loaded clip to hit the listeners mitt I invent too many patterns to pattern your path after Tell them rappers that we got a master, yo Miles Davis It's kinda blue, but kinda new Colossal to my whole team supreme It's like a dream come true I thought you knew like the worst of Brooklyn Zoo How we cook the stew Homie, my hookup might cut up your hook in two Salute the best of Niggas hit this and drop their best of We next up, hop off the deck for your cassette bus You couldn't blow with cold train in the month Playing the funk, but y'all need to be hanging it up You cats washed up, cutting with vets And got your paws plugged Prison guards couldn't lock off Get your bars up, bar none, nigga J Barnes get the job done, we could be Siamese twins, still my squad won my dude, my rent late, I, I still pay dues, I'm too cool, 2G I seen the ill street blues, born in A3, still getting it in A2 and ain't a person on earth that could fill these shoes, Miles Davis Miles Davis X cut it, the black trumpet, you couldn't have strum it The instrument so hit, you in your stomach when you run it Crowds plummet, trying to touch it The gold on the sound make you run out and crown something It's the best, the next in the west Cover your chest like Muslims cover their neck Truth seeker, some in my text Buy coastal for bifocals It'll knock you try opal You trying to chop with the top chef Try over, who rhymes colder from California You catch pneumonia in the city that Biggie wrote rhymes over Blow tweeters out, speakers like Eat the through your ethers, yeah. Eat up receivers with the signal. I'ma leave you. It's the code of the street. Sweeper to sleep, sleep deeper till they hear my people. Beating blocks with the single. I see you covering ass like Utah fans, but John Stockton couldn't pass talking all that jazz. Miles Davis.
the feeling. Only the feeling gives real happiness. Only the feeling and nothing less. Only the feeling. As my thoughts submerge, it's more real than any, any words I'm talking about. Uh, the feeling is gone. Couldn't even pin a good song, I had to let it go And ask God to direct my flow, my life was blessed Even times when my life was less, I kept faith And God kept me in a good place I faced adversity before, not saying it was worse I'm really saying now it's even more But I can't let it put me underground I have a kid to live for, I gotta find a way to make a proud Especially when there's police killing children And you got the nerve to try to ask me how I'm feeling My nigga, I'm a black man, not trying to Turn this to a racist, racist thing Cause worldwide We can see that it's a racist thing I think you'll understand If I explain it like a man But just being honest yo I don't have a plan All I got is two hands To touch what is real And honestly I stop giving a fuck How you feel The feeling As, 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 as my thoughts submerge It's more real than any words I could <laughs> Hey yo, they robbed me for everything I have So all I ever worked for was thrown in the trash They took all my equipment and the masses to my records They took away the biggest part of my child's investment You question, but no, I wasn't giving back a dime Cause I ain't have insurance, all they sure of is the crime And the fact that I'm broke and my life is on the ropes But I got good health, trying to buy high hopes But you never know, some people lose a lot more And can't get it back, and that's why I'm torn I got a huge love for making music to encourage But now I can't afford to record no more I got warrants for fighting And that made my life a lot harder Not to mention I'm too poor to support my daughter But they never know So I just keep on killing it Whether or not I'm even feeling it Or fulfilling As my the thoughts feeling. submerge It's more real than any words I could I, I, I could muster The feeling the, 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 as my thoughts submerge, it's more real than any words I can muster. I can muster. Uh. The feeling is true, real, something you could feel. The feeling is deeper than any rapper's record deal. The feeling is the healing. Not the killing, the feeling is one of the reasons I'm still living But I don't got it brother, all I got now is God And my will that all of me and mine survive Trying to let it go, though I never thought I would I kept it so deep inside I never thought I could, not sure if it returns Or if it just burns, but I learned The feeling is something that's confirmed Though it's not eternal, and it's not deep as love I know back then I felt it like blood, I can hug, I can kiss, I can even get this. All I know is the feeling will surely be missed I felt you, and yeah, it almost felt like I held you The real is, the only thing that can replace the feeling That's my the thoughts submerged It's more real than any words I <laughs> 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 As my thoughts some muster the feeling as my thoughts some mer mer merge it's more real than any word 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 only the feeling gives real happiness Only the feeling, nothing less Only the feeling makes a friendship true The feeling that I feel for you Only the feeling makes life feel alright Only the feeling, every day and night Only the feeling makes true desire Only the feeling takes the feeling higher only the feeling makes a baby smile. Only the feeling makes a man a child. Only the feeling makes a house a home. And only the feeling makes a word a poem. The, 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 the feeling. Blue and exile. Shout out to St. Dorans. It's more real than any words I've got. I've got a muster.
See, I can't explain how it hit me But from the beginning, it stayed my memory I seen the fat boys beatboxing and talking rhythmically When I was three or four, but it came out when I was born I remember one Sunday morning seeing Michael Jackson perform They tried to dress me like him next morning Before I went to school, nobody noticed me But I still thought I was cool That all started with Michael Jackson I can't describe the attraction But my dad gave me LL's bag Before I had Michael Jackson My papa was giving me rap back then Now we got the nerve to act surprised that I rap My favorite track Back, back then was Wild Wild West How you like me now with bad Was my first two cassettes I remember singing Strictly for my niggas when I was 10 I thought he looked like Superman what? So I popped it in I skipped around uh, I took it out Word up I was too young to know what that, that was, was about Cause it was all about Uchi Kuchi by MC Brains My papa banged MC Breed I thought they was the same thing I remember one afternoon My mama slapped me with a spoon for saying I once got busy in the Burger King bathroom Still it was it wasn't cool when she went and married a reverend And he told me all secular music is off limits I said Can you hear the sound? Wrote a rap, we had a dance to it. We just crisscross, but wore our pants like them. Saying the choir since we was like five or six, had mad baseball cards. So my cousin picked up the drumsticks. He heard the Fuji's, you killing me softly. He explained to me what a baseline was, and then we started bossing. First beat we rocked was a Whitney Houston instrumental. No wonder we would get into bone. Memories of Easy E when I was three. My auntie dated him, my papa would bang him on the way to the beach. In the Middle of the street, banging in his Jeep, playing me chronic before the radios rocked it. So I was geek when I heard it get a spin, and they changed the juice and gin. And nothing's ever been the same since. Many folks came and went, but the legends remain embedded into my brain. And A move and sink to it. Mama used to sit me on a sink while she sweet to it. Church ladies fall across the pews while they preach to it. They was focused on the cross, but I just watched the keys moving, feet moving, each movement speaking to the beast and humans. Stricken by crescendos in that piece as soon as keys soothe them. Now how it fill up any room, but you can see through it. It vibrates in any space, don't need a tree to acoustics. I used to bang it in my room and sketch my pieces to it. Keep it in my mental on repeat, then hit the streets to it. Ain't no coinka dink, I soon will link with E and Blue then. Proud of that below the heavens was that key influence. Before that, the woo and Uncle Snoop was speaking to him. Rewind back when Eric B was in my speakers booming. All along the R was teaching MCs the meaning to it. That's why the crowd move, I eat, sleep, and breathe this music.
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Jametta Rose. Yes. Hey. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in with us. Blue and Exile. Blue and Exile. Peace. All right, live on KXP at home. That was Blue and Exile. Amazing performance. Thank you. Can y'all please? Can y'all please introduce us to uh, those features on that last song? Oh yeah, that was the great Jametta Rose holding it down on the vocals on Music Is My Everything as well as King Choosy from the Dirty nice. Choosy. Crew. Choosy. That, That's right. That's what's up. Have y'all, um, since Miles, you know, the new album was released this year, have you guys been able to perform much at all? Like, have y'all done other virtual performances or is this the first one? I think this was the first one. We we did a, sure. kind of a listening of the album and Blue uh -huh. kind of was rapping along with everything. But yeah, I think this was the first performance. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Well, it looked... It looked like y'all had been on tour. Like it, it looked very well put together. You know what I mean? Oh, so, man, we it, it was crazy because you know we were ready to tour this album, and just being able to to do this, it was crazy. Like we were just having so much fun, just just rocking. It, it was it was nice to be able to do that and put it together. So, yeah, yeah I I <laughs> love it, man. I'm so I'm so excited to have this conversation with y'all because um. As you know, I've followed both of y'all's careers pretty much since the beginning. Um, or maybe you don't know. Um, man, f starting starting with Exile, um, I was in high school in Las Vegas in the mid-90s. And there was a record store out there called The Joint where I first picked up a mixtape from a group called Eminon. It was called Don's Second Coming. <laughs> and I had that mixtape on repeat, man. Wow. Um, I was... I would I would love for you to talk about Eminon, uh, especially for the folks that are you know listening to this that only know Aloe Black is like you know the guy who sang, you know. Yeah, man. Uh, um, the dollar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, me and Aloe Black, we 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 came up together and learned about music. You know, um, we made our first song together uh, in his his mom's kitchen over like a Michael Jackson loop, and man, I got. You know what? That actually never came out. And listening to it, it's actually it, it's it's pretty banging still. I got to drop yeah. that again. Aloe was sixteen. Um, I was like eighteen. I think I was actually seventeen. And uh, wow, man, he was he was a phenomenal lyricist. Man, he was just a genius to what? me. He, like well, his music and is his music still, is. still holds yeah. like so. We have a a 90 a 95 mixtape a 96 mixtape and a 97 mixtape and uh i would do like turntablism and mix some of my favorite songs on one side and then the other side would be me and aloe's four track music just four tracks you know in our bedroom and um the mixtape you're talking about Don second coming that was our third mixtape the song age of aquarius man that song yeah. i mean i don't like to talk about my own music but it's so long ago it's, it seems like it's separated from me and it's somebody else's music, but hearing that song, Age of Aquarius, it's such yeah. a it's such an ill song. I love it. <laughs> it's so it's so ill. But, and you're right. Allo, Allo Black's lyricism, he was a top tier MC. You know, yeah, and, most definitely. and and it's hilarious to me when people like, you know, know him for his singing, which is also mm -hmm. excellent, have no idea about the bars on bars on bars. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, man. We were just we were grinding just about it you know like just loving hip-hop like being too young to get into the clubs and standing outside and slinging tapes with pride you know like the feeling of selling tapes it was a different era back then it just yeah you you, you really felt like you really felt like part of the culture like to put yourself out there and like when you believed in your music and you just step up to like heads you knew were hip hop heads and try to sling your tapes. It's hard for me to explain, but it just felt really good to do that. And it felt even better when people enjoyed the music. And eventually it went from slinging tapes locally to, we went to the B-Boy Summit and that's when, it, you know, we were able to get it to like all of our favorite rappers and B-Boys mm -hmm. from around the world. And then by that time we were mailing tapes around the world and 
eventually a fan of ours pressed up our first 12 inch in it and then it got played on uh, power 106 mm. with uh c minus and j rock friday night flavors mr chalk shout out shout mm-hmm. out to the fantastic four mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so yeah man uh, we just kept on making music uh and right before our first kind of like album album where we had the cd and the vinyl and everything ready to go because everything else before that was just 12 inches and mixtape albums right but but right before the waiting room uh alo kept telling me about this rapper named blue you know and uh i was anyway i was gonna I'm, i was gonna ask about this next how 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 the connection with aloe black leads to the two of y'all connecting so so yeah we were uh me and blue had it's funny because the record shop I'm in right now, the homie Rec Worm, was in a group called uh, Fertile Soil. And okay. the weird thing is, is before I knew Blue, he used to watch Fertile Soil perform and kind of was like, yo, these guys are dope. I think Blue even wanted to be in their crew back in the day. I think he told me <laughs> that. And it's weird that we're here now. But then later, me and – wait, I'm getting sidetracked, but – um. <laughs> so yeah but we had a mutual another mutual uh friend that was in a, a crew called the science project and um me and ala would perform with them but blue would go and link up with them you know without us because we didn't know them yet so okay. um so it was mutual mutual collaborators yeah and yeah. they were trying to like they wanted to start a label they were talking about doing it with them, with Eminon, us, uh-huh. uh, with Blue, and even Miguel or whatever. Like it was just kind of like talking. Yeah. It didn't really ever happen, but um, that's when I heard about Blue. And Aloe okay. had met Blue first, and then finally Aloe brought me to a show to see Blue perform, and I was just blown away. And I just knew I wanted to work with him right away. And he had actually already heard some Eminon stuff, so it was, yeah. We linked up and made made a song, and then right after that song, we just started talking about what we wanted our album to sound like, pretty much. Oh, that's awesome! You mentioned Miguel. The story the story I heard uh, from Allo was uh, he saw you, Blue, and Miguel performing together. Maybe the first time he saw both of y'all. Oh, okay, yeah, most likely, man. We was doing so many shows back in the days, man. We was first coming up, you know what I mean? But Miguel was running with us tough back then. Mm-hmm. I know he's the first time I think I heard him was on Below the Heavens. I don't know if that was his first recorded music out, but that was the first time I heard his voice. Uh, I think he was on a uh, Exile tape before that. Okay. The Dirty Science, yeah. yeah. The Dirty uh, Science yes, album. Yes, yes, yes. I do remember that album as well. Yeah. With Maintain and Summertime in LA. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Classic. I love, I love, I love all the connections, you know. Um, Man, Below the Heavens was such a, you know, in my mind, a classic debut. Um, Thank you. Walk me through, like, what, what, was, what was creating that album like and, and even the thought process? Because it seems like every time the two of y'all get together to make an album, there's, there's a lot of intention and in, in the concepts that go into it as well. You know, man, just, uh, you know, me and blue we always like really talk about uh stuff usually before we create and back then especially we were just you know talking about the type of album we wanted to make you know we knew we wanted we knew we wanted to make like a conscious record for the west coast but have like but but have it you know still feel west coast and but um also be something for everybody uh you know both coasts and uh I think that's where I think that's what makes our synergy so good is that we we kind of set out foresight of what we want to accomplish and uh kind of uh speak it into existence. And um Yeah, what, yeah, yeah what, for what's me the question was, from there? <laughs> for me it was a dream come true to work with Exile, you know what I mean? Like Exile was my favorite producer that I had heard up until that point. Like he was I mean, not that I ever heard, but that I had ever met up until that point. You know what I mean? He was my yeah, like, yeah. I was like, this dude is like premier, Dilla, high tech, 
You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like all mm-hmm. my favorite just- Pete Rock. Pete Rock, yeah. he had that like main ingredient sound too. You know what I mean? I was like, dude, yeah. I just, he work means like his dude. favorite producer, someone who he actually has access to and knew. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. but, but but um and I'm beyond trying to that, keep it of humble. course. <laughs> but yeah, when I when I heard Blue and just like his energy and how hungry he was, it just made me mm-hmm. just as hungry and like I we I felt like we were just matching each other's energy and if not, Blue would pick up where I'm slacking and, and make me hungry all, all over again. And um, it was just uh, it was just fun to to like figure out like where what was going to happen because Blue had some dope music, but I you know I think we both knew that he could do he could do more, and that was the goal. And it was just exciting to like create music and and guide that creativity into below the heavens, you know. And, we would just link up and just record and record and record and and talk about the album at that point. And there is some, you know, like there is like a fine line between really making what became below the heavens and like almost making something that was like, you know, trying to be signed to Rock Nation or some stuff. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> uh-huh. oh no, I'm glad we didn't put that one out. <laughs> wow. So how how much how much music do you think you left on the floor creating that creating that record like songs that didn't make the album? We did seventy five really- songs. <laughs> probably twenty of those songs. Probably twenty of those songs were like remakes. Probably fifteen, twenty were like remixes of the same song. But we had about uh, seventy five joints. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and we we put out um a, a lot of the leftover songs the good ones uh mm-hmm. on this on album, that record right there uh, yeah, the beginning. before the heavens in the yeah. beginning yeah you know? which is a dope project on its own you know yeah. that's that's ill man 75 songs for one record Whew. but we that's left work. we left out maybe like three uh <laughs> Jiggy cuts or something, but okay. <laughs> that was because I had heard that uh, Roots did two hundred songs for Things Fall Apart. Wow, you know what I mean. So I was like, we write yeah. on, you know what I mean. We got to keep, yeah. You know what I'm saying. I I, so I personally love out. working like that. I love working like that. Has it has it been um, a similar process for the projects that you both have done since then? In terms of like, you know. You're making an album and you're you you just produce way more than the amount of songs you need or have Johnson you, have you kind and of Johnson like focused in. Johnson uh-huh. and Johnson was a record with me and Mainframe, and we produced a gang of beats for that record. You know what I mean? We did a, probably about 50 beats for that record. And um did about 30 songs, chose about 15. No, we did about 25 songs, chose about 15. You know what I mean? But other than that. After that, I start cutting down and being more selectful, you know, with the process. You just, you know, as you age, you you mature more. You know what I mean? You kind of know what's what, you know. So it was easier to narrow down, like, the hotter joints for a record. You know what I mean? To, to kind of eyeball an album, like, when it's almost complete. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know, I know there was some years was it was it seven years between below the heavens and the next uh album that you two did together yes um, what, what no no what no was well, that that was five no, years five. For, sorry five. it yeah. was five years oh, yeah. it was five, five years. years my bad my mistake it was five <laughs> years between uh what was it called give them the flowers while they can still smell them yeah give me my give flowers, flowers. yeah yep. give me my flowers that, that's it that's it uh what was with that time was was it we, was there uh, we, a pressure? Was there pressure like following up below the heavens, or was it just you both wanted to do hella other projects? Like we just wanted to do other projects. Okay, that makes sense. But we, we we didn't really think about it like that. Like, but I think we're thinking about it more like that now. What I mean by that is, you know, riding off of the next album and having something for the people quicker as Blue and Exile. And uh, I mean, me personally is what I'm trying to. Lip Luna, like not tripping so much uh, on the other projects, you know, on other projects. I don't want to say that. 
But I just mean just trying to be more consistent and putting out Blue and Exile stuff is what I mean. I hear that. But yeah, uh, yeah got, you know, I, I had the idea to work on my Exile radio album where I sampled everything off of Los Angeles airwaves, kick, snare, hi hat, all that. That was like a, that was during like, you know, the low in theory days. And I was like, okay, I got to do my instrumental project, you know, because to keep up with all the low in theory homies. So that was, uh, that was That's my, was uh, the... Johnson and Johnson. Yeah, no, that's when we were that's oh, when crap, I was doing the, doing the Low End Theory album. I was doing the New York album with all the Low End Theory heads. Oh, with the same heads, yeah. Doing, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? That was like the same same time. We were both like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Trying to conquer mm -hmm. the same scene, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Separately. Yeah. Still working together, yeah. though. Exile blessed me with tags for that record. That shit is, man. Yeah. It's yeah. one of my favorites still. Yeah. I, I love it. Let's let's get to this this current record, Miles, man. Um I love the I love the concept that, you know, you took one word and made a whole concept record out of it in my mind. Like I hear Miles Davis, but I also hear distance. Like what 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 was the process of making this album like for y'all? Hmm. Process was very peaceful, man. Very, very peaceful, mm. very um joyous a more mm -hmm. so like a, a healing process you know what i mean beautiful mm -hmm. and uh, i was going through a lot of stuff at the time so it was it was um it was easy for me to to be able to express myself through music at the time you know what i mean um exile kind of pulled that out of me because i was trying to do like a completely other different sound at the time, you know what I mean? With Exile. <laughs> Trying yeah. to do like, you know what I mean? Uh, Exile Trap album and shit. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, we sat down and we really like got focused, you know what I mean? And I'm glad we did because it's, it creates such a lineage with the rest of our music, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It really does. It feels connected, you know? Um all the way through. What, what was it like for you, X? Yeah, you know, uh, there was a direction that I was taking with beats just because it was fun. And, you know, I'm like some of my origins of hip hop is, you know, like uh, Two Live Crew, Egyptian Lover and stuff like that. So, you know, I've always been into 808 stuff and, and I didn't necessarily use stuff like that for the stuff me and Blue put out, you know, maybe a little bit on uh, the Flowers album, but... Um, yeah, there was just a period, especially with how music was changing in hip hop, where I was just really messing with 808s and doing live 808 stuff with my live NPC performances and um, just really experimenting electronically. And I just, you know, love to get feedback from Blue with my music. So I've just sent him stuff all the time and not necessarily wanting him to rap to that stuff. But, you know, maybe subconsciously, you know, who knows? But, um, <laughs> yeah, so he gravitated. He gravitated to some of that music, but it just didn't end up being, I think, what um, the calling for Blue and Exile was. So we uh, we just went back to the drawing board and and spoke about it and agreed to uh, create Miles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, once we started making it, yeah, you know, we kind of uh, lost a little bit of chemistry in the midst of all that. Just but we found it all again once we started working on Miles and we just uh, locked in creatively and really saw eye to eye and, uh, you know, develop, redeveloped our kinship as, uh, as, as artists, you know, together, working on music together. How, how long, how long were y'all working on this album? Then? Like a year and a <clears throat> half. Year and a half. Yeah, like a year, I think, really. Um, we did the trap. We did like a trap record in 2016. And then we 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 shelved that. And then we started 2017 with a fresh concept. And by, um, no, yeah, yeah, it was two years. It was two years, 2017 and 2018. And then it was, we, we pressed the record up 2019. And due to the pandemic, we sat on it you know, until mid 2020. Yeah. 
And you decided to release it though, even during the pandemic. Was yeah, it, it was, was it, it, it was we realized that they, conceptually it was exactly what people needed, I think, during mm-hmm. the pandemic, like even beyond the, the pandemic, but you know, what was going on uh racially within the world. Um yeah. and even some of it just sounds like it was created during the pandemic, which is just trippy to me. But um it just we you know it was it was the time I felt like it needed to come out. I mean, it it, it just uh, sounded like uh, it was speaking to that moment, even though it was created a little bit before it. Yeah, I wanted I wanted to ask you, Blue, about um, one of the songs. You have a song about um, touching Africa. I wanted mm-hmm. to ask, had had you, had you been to Africa? Yup, me and Exile went. Exile got brought um, me out there for the first time. You know what I mean? Where'd y'all go and what was that experience like? Cape Town and Johannesburg, bro. Woo, yeah. South Africa. South Africa turned up. Oh my yeah. god. It, it, it was it was incredible. It was incredible. <laughs> I mean, the, the the country in Cape Town is just amazing. Mm-hmm. I got to hike all through there and Bro, we See, got the real, and all that. We got Animals real and, fans out there, bro. Yeah, and we yeah. when we went to Johannesburg and oh we saw gosh. a place packed. Oh my gosh, a huge place. But what was it was wow. it, it was a huge place, bro. <laughs> yeah, that shit and just was packed. All, and all African people, you know, it was amazing. It was a beautiful sight. Reciting, reciting all if I may the songs, say so, it, bro. it was beautiful yeah. to just see. <laughs> We were performing with all black people, and if that yeah. that was that was amazing because you know, for me making this black music and just to to, to see it touching all these people was a beautiful thing, and to be accepted by them and have them show us around. They took us to the Sowetos. We got to see like real, real like you know South Africa, and they just accepted us with open arms. We remember the Sowetos. We rocked out there, or we had a little party. It was nice. <laughs> yeah, great what, people. What I can't wait to get back out there. What year was that? Uh, twenty eleven or twenty twelve? That's crazy. Oh no, twenty ten. Okay. Twenty ten. Yeah, I, I made I made it to Cape Town in twenty twelve. Uh, yeah, oh, twenty twelve. So that's nice. That's 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 funny. It was you know that that era, that same era. Yo, Cape what was that? Town what was that? Turn up, right? Yeah, it is. It's, it's so much happening there on Long Street, you know, all of the spots like a lot music, of love, the, man. The, pan, oh the Pan African Space Station venue. Like, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot happening. Huh. What was that experience like for for you, Blue? Just like just, you know, being being in the motherland for the first time, you know? Oh man. For me, whew, I would define it. I went to I woke up one morning and just took a trip throughout the whole city. I walked to the two highest points in Johannesburg. And it took me about 12 hours to complete the entire like mission. And I just walked through forests. I walked through jungles. I walked through mesh land. I walked through like, um, like, uh, cemeteries, mountains, hills. You know what I mean? I walked through everything in just this small town, bro. (laughs) You know what I mean? It was amazing. It was like, I don't know how to describe it. It's bigger than it, was, it felt to me bigger than my life. You know what I mean? The experience was bigger than my life. So it was like, it's something that I just hold and cherish dearly. You know what I mean? Just those memories of, of and, and being able to accomplish that deed. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I wanted to ask you blue about a different project. Uh, if you don't mind, just cause it's recent. Um, I mentioned earlier I was listening to you and Fat Jack's uh, "Me Versus AC Alone." You had the EP with Fat Jack oh, last yeah. year. Un- Underground makes the world go round. Um, yep, yep. Man, that 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 project uh, it meant so much to me. Just of our generation, you know what I mean? Like on the West Coast, Freestyle Fellowship, the the influence cannot be understated. You know what I mean? And it was it was so beautiful to me to hear an MC of our generation doing exactly what you said in the album uh, album title, giving them their flowers while they're still here. You know what I mean? Um, and I and I feel like you did that with that whole project. Um, thank you. Man. And it was 
and it was and it was also dope that you were you know in that particular song you were like i was sleeping on them you know how did yeah, i sleep on yeah. the best crew like, yeah <laughs> yeah Ta i wanted to ask you about you know about that project and also just about your you know about your growth and like the way you view the la underground now then and now i should say huh, then and now well then let me see when i was coming up I didn't really have access to the LA underground. You know what I mean? So it was like, um, I was buying a lot of East coast music. You know what I mean? When I came up, everything was just East coast spitting. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it was planet Asia, Razkaz. Um, and that was pretty much it for me. And like corrupt, corrupt dropped his like his killer streets is a mother <laughs> album. You know what I mean? Was slaughtering mm -hmm. on there. Mm -hmm. front to back you know what I mean? <laughs> so uh it was pretty much just like planet asia and razcaz and then um as i grew older as i met exile it became bigger actually exile introduced me to freestyle fellowship and was putting me on to freestyle fellowship music you know what i mean exile being like a, a such a fan himself you know what i'm saying yeah and um me and my homie, we just wasn't picking up on it at first. It was like beyond us, you know what I'm saying? And it truly was like the styles, the knowledge, it was just going directly over my head. You know what I mean? I was used to much more watered down music, you know what I mean? Much more in your face. This is the sound, you know what I mean? You get it right away. You know what I'm saying? What's going on, you know? Mm -hmm. But uh, with Freestyle Fellowship Project Blowed, it was a lot deeper, man. And it was, uh, it put me in my place, you know what I mean? To, to, to actually be put up on like what is really dope in LA underground, you know what I'm saying? And it gave me like a, a totally different perspective. Like my favorites from, I was telling X earlier, my favorites from LA period now is like NWA, Farside, Freestyle Fellowship, Planet Asia, bro. You know what I mean? That's dope. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I guess that's the from then and now. You know what I mean? Yeah, I yeah. used, to, I, I used to, I tried so hard. I would play him stuff. I'd get so <laughs> frustrated, you know. And then finally, it was I keep actually playing, during I'm just Blaze and shit. <laughs> I was trying to compete I, I, with I, just I, Blaze music. Yeah, for real though, I think it was, it was towards you know. The, the 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 beginning seeds of like the miles record to where me and blue finally were really vibing out like to all the project blowed and good life stuff and we finally got to kick it and smoke and like listen to it and appreciate it together and that, i remember that was a that was a real moment it was like it was like it was like a, it was like a real moment like yes he gets it and it was really like uh, I played him Jupiter's verse on uh, "Can you find the level of difficulty on in this?" And like oh, I was, yeah. I was rediscovering verse, it too. Ever written? That's the greatest verse ever written to me. That man. verse by Self Jupiter is the greatest yeah. hip hop verse. <laughs> Hold on, my computer's about to die. I'm gonna plug up. Okay. <laughs> oh man, oh. that's 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 so dope. That's that's just so dope to hear. Oh, um, hold on one second. My bad. Oh, it's all good. <laughs> this is live on KXP at home. We are inside of a pandemic. Sometimes people's laptops die and they have to plug them in. And we as DJs have to improvise. I'm talking to Blue and Exile. We're live on YouTube and people are plugging in their computers. They got a mask up. They might have to be in a room together. We're just going to see what happens, you know? What What's up, Exile? I just pretended I was on the radio and I just talked to the people, you know? Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that I like I said, I was rediscovering this song because I hadn't heard it in such a long time. So as I'm hipping him to, to some of these songs he hasn't heard, I'm rediscovering them. And we yeah. both, I rediscovered that Jupiter verse and he heard it for the first time, but we were both on the same wavelength of how crazy it was. Yeah. Oh my they, gosh. For people, and for people watching this. everybody else on that song. Everybody, I could, I could, we could just talk about that song, bro. 
<laughs> I was just going to say for people watching this that have no idea what we're talking about, just just go listen to Freestyle Fellowship, watch the movie This Is the Life uh, by Ava DuVernay. It's her first film because yeah. she was also an MC. She was part of Figures of Speech. People don't know that part. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, she did this whole amazing documentary about the Good Life Cafe, Freestyle Fellowship. The influence is is so far, you know, everything from Chance the Rapper to No Name to, you know, a lot of your favorite MCs today yeah. probably wouldn't rap the way they rap if it wasn't for Fellowship. And they rap like a trumpet sometimes. Bust the that makes sense. You know what I mean? So that's, you know. <laughs> yeah, listen to Inner City Griots first. Yeah, Inner, inner City Boundaries. Hoover. You know? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. What, sure. what? What was it like for y'all, for you, Blue, specifically? Because in that song where you're talking about, you know, battling AC alone or having to battle him as a kid to then, like, almost AC alone's battling. on the new album. Almost, almost, almost getting battling. served. Yeah, almost getting <laughs> served by the OG. Um, and, that, and, that, and now you got AC as a feature on, on, on Miles. Like, yes, what, yes. What, was that, what was that experience like? And, and did AC... Uh, say anything about that song <laughs> nah actually ac didn't say much about the song but it was a crowning moment for me to get him on the record you know what i mean definitely it was like not a passing of the torch but just like he's down you know the king is down with us you know what i'm saying we down with the king you know what i'm saying yeah straight up yeah that's fire i love it i love it um, man, what what do you what do both of y'all hope people get from your music more than anything else? I hope um, we're able to uh, connect them with uh, with experiences. <laughs> Blue, you take it. <laughs> <laughs> um. I hope that like I hope people are able to to I hope that we keep hip hop alive in hearts. You know what I mean? Like I hope people are able to listen to us and keep the culture living enough to want to like go back and listen to more stuff or wait for more new shit to come out that feels like the real hip hop. You know what I'm saying? However however they digest it, but I just want us to keep it alive in their hearts. You know what I mean? I hope That's our right. music is doing that. I hope I hope that it's healing for them and keeps their imagination alive and uh, keeps them like aware of the evils in the world and even in music and understand that there is a place for a healing music, which I believe Blue and Exile does offer. And, and I hope that they... What I do hope is that it inspires them to make a similar type of music so we can, you know, create some kind of balance for hip hop music, especially. Say that, man. Man, it's been such a joy and a pleasure uh, to have a conversation with y'all. I know I feel like I could talk to y'all for all day just nerding out on music, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, but this has been Blue in Exile live on KXP at home. Um, is there anything else that you guys want to plug before we're up out of here? Anything coming up? Uh, make sure to cop the uh, the Miles Blue and Exile album. And if you click below, you can cop this hat. It says <laughs> Miles on the side. And we got some shirts, too, with the album yeah. on the back. And, uh, yeah, be sure to check that out, support. And uh, there you go, young young Blue modeling for you right there. He's got there you your go. back. We got your back. There you uh, go. Nah, I just thank you guys for all supporting Blue and Exile and uh, Dirty Science, the Dirty Science dot com. Mm -hmm. New World Absol Color. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. Appreciate y'all so much, me and Blue and Exile. Thank you, Gabriel, holding us down, man. <laughs> yeah. All this time, bro. You already know. Nice chatting, bro. Yep, no doubt. Take it easy, world. KXP at home. Peace. Peace. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.